Hello everyone and hope you all are having a lovely day. Today we will be looking at a very cool and new e-commerce platform. We are talking about Equid. Equid is an e-commerce shopping cart platform that lets you set up and create your online store quickly and easily. On top of that, a great feature that Equid offers is that it allows you to integrate its shopping cart onto an existing website. How cool is that? Let's begin by quickly looking at what pricing does Equid offer. To open Equid, click on the link in the description box below. This is an affiliate link and will open Equid for you. How affiliation works is, if you happen to create an online store on a paid plan with Equid, I will get a small commission from that and this will help me create more awesome content like this in future. So if you want to support the channel, please use the link in the description box and subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already. Okay, once on the Equid website, we will click on the pricing tab on the top. Once on the pricing page, we can see that Equid offers four plans for the free, venture, business and unlimited. Let's scroll down and compare these four plans. In this video, we will be comparing the free plan uh, and the business plan because being a $35 plan, this is uh, a closer plan to Equid's competitors like Shopify and BigCommerce. Um, so let's compare the free plan and the business plan. The free plan being $0, which is absolutely free, um, and the business plan being $35. Um, Shopify takes $29 for its starter uh, or basic plan. The transaction fee is $0 for all the four plans, which is a good thing because Shopify, if you don't use their own Shopify transactions, or, or basically the transaction links, uh, they, they charge a, a transaction fee and, and that can grow pretty massive you know, once you have people coming and buying on your, on your selling platform. In the free plan, you get the online store and you can create products and categories and push them on the online store. And uh, apart from that, you don't get uh, the Facebook shop, shop platform. You don't get the Instagram store platform, whereas you get all of these things in the business plan. Th these are basically a way to send your products to to these selling platforms as well uh, along with your online store so in the basic one you just get the online store apart from that you get a responsive uh, shopping cart you get 10 number of products whereas you get 2500 in the business plan you cannot sell digital goods that option is gone and otherwise you can you can sell 25 GB per file for those 2500 products if you have you know a digital store you can you can have 25 gigs of of data per file uh, all of these uh, are the same you can connect a Facebook pixel to advertise and, and track you know which products are getting hit and, and, and all that you don't get discounted coupons in the free plan uh, that's important because you know you have to lure customers with offering coupons. You don't get the advanced SEO tools and abandoned cart emails are not present even in the second plan. And this is pretty important because a lot of times you'll see customers adding products to the cart but eventually not buying them. So getting back to them via emails and offering them a little more discount. Uh, so that you know that changes their mind is is a pretty important thing in e-commerce business so that's uh, an important thing so that is offered in their business plan whereas in shopify you basically have to uh, you know connect to some other application to, uh, to do that along with that all these other variations like product filters product variations you can't do in the free plan but uh, it it still is a is a good way to start seeing your store you know you can set up your store you can set up 10 products and see how it looks like and then once you have changed your mind you can just quickly change to the business plan so now that we compared the plans uh, let's scroll down to the bottom and click on the plan that you want to choose for this video i'll be using the free plan and i will click on the sign up button uh, it'll take me to the registration screen where its its options are to fill the details over here uh, or you can connect to one of your Google, Facebook or Apple accounts directly. So I'll, I'll give my full name, my email address, and my password.
and I will click on next to set up my store. Once the registration uh, process has, has started, uh, you know, I'm, I can see I'm on step one of four. Uh, you can mention the store name. I will say Equid Demo Store if that is available. I will choose my location and my currency. So I'm in New Zealand at the moment. So I'll choose New Zealand and get the currency as New Zealand dollar. Uh, but you have other options here to select from and click next. I will also add a company address to get paid and set up delivery uh, and I basically can skip that and there's a few more questions to here um, that says do you have an already have an experience selling online um, I'll say I'm just getting started what type of products will you be selling there's different categories uh, let's say I've choosed home and furniture for this one uh, or even even better apparel shoes and accessories uh, are you setting up a store for someone else I'll say no uh, but you can choose yes if you are a developer for somebody else click next do you already have a website I would say yes if I have an existing website but there's no online store so these apply to people who have uh, an existing website that you know your customers know about like you have a physical store but you don't have a website to operate um, you would click yes and you know follow that but for this video I would click no and this would be my temporary URL and I'll click on finish and proceed to dashboard once you're all done you'll be taken to the dashboard page for your equid store on the dashboard page, you can see a list of to-dos uh, that would be required to set up your store completely. We'll have a look at this later on. On the dashboard page, you can also see a site navigation bar, which has a store management tab, which has a dashboard, which we are currently on. My sales, which will show you the orders, the abandoned carts, customers, and, and other things. We have a catalog of products. We can create categories and we can also create gift cards uh, if you are on that plan. Uh, the marketing tab has Google ads, Facebook ads, coupons, and, and other kinds of discounts and marketing stuff. Uh, we have a report section. Down below, we have a, a tab for sales channels. Uh, for the free plan, you can only get the website one but otherwise if you are on a different plan you can basically or you can basically upgrade to sell on Facebook you can upgrade to a higher plan which has an option and you can then push items or products to your Facebook shop as well uh, and similar to that the mobile and other channels like eBay Amazon and, and Instagram uh, here are a few other configuration things for your website like you can have the image sizes as large or medium or small and what proportion or aspect ratio you want your images to to have uh, and then you can have your payment set up over here uh, you can you have to basically set up your shipping so that you know when when people move on to the shipping page what value do they select from there or is it just free uh, you have other settings like general taxes legal notices and and other invoicing and stuff so let's go to the dashboard again and let's see what equid has created for us by default so i will click on this to open my website and by default because i said no to equid that i don't have an existing website equid created and a website for me with its default theme uh, on the top I have the name of my website or you will have the name of your website I have a calling button which gives a number I have an email icon over here a search functionality and my cart icon so that people who have items in the cart can just click here and see what's in there um, these details can are editable so you can you know change your headline you can change your title tag and then comes the products list so for example this demo store has uh, 9 to 10 products uh, people who are coming to your store will just click on the product it will take them to the product page um, and then 
on the product they can see images they can click on them they can zoom it they can click on the next or previous button they can close it by clicking over here and they can scroll through images from here as well over here they have the sizing variation uh, and these are the sizing and variation but you can also have a color variation if you want um, for example uh, if I want to select medium, I will click over here and click on the add to cart button and it says wine item has been added to the bag. Uh, do you want to go to the checkout or we can do that by clicking this icon over here. Uh, it has a product details tab over here and also shows the material, color, print and you know, uh, good information about, about the product over here. And it has in mind account and a track orders tab and basically the shopping bag button which is the same as this one so I'll click over here to see what it looks like on the card it shows that you know I have one item of, of this product added uh, the total uh, is listed here uh, do you want to continue shopping or do you want to check out let's say for example I have given my email address and I want to check out so I'll click on the checkout button the only payment option uh, here by default is the pay by cash because we have not set up any other payment uh, details uh, in, in, our, in our dashboard uh, it's giving the default of pay by cash so if I place the order and uh, an order will be created for this demo store uh, and and you could see that in the uh, in the orders section over here Back on the Equid dashboard, under the catalog section, we have the products page. On the products page, we can see there are some default products that have been pushed by Equid um, so that we can see what the website looks like. But we don't want these items. We want products of our own. So we can delete these items by selecting them uh, and going to this uh, delete selected button and we can click on that. And yes, we would like to delete and you know, that's how you delete. Um, products <clears throat> you can edit an individual product by clicking on edit and then uh, you can remove images you can uh, change the name you can change the description um, and stuff like that so we want to just go outside and try to add a new product we'll do that by clicking this button uh, and another way to do that is by clicking import products if you have uh, a very big catalog and you have a CSV uh, but for this video we will just click on the add new product button and here we see that you know we can insert images we can insert the title for our product uh, we can insert a SKU the weight of the item and some description to it so let's do that by clicking on the upload images I have a few demo uh, images for the product that I would like to insert so I select all of them uh, and upload it and uh, if you want to change the order of the images uh, you can just drag to sort them and let's say I want to keep this to the front so that this becomes my main image I will give a description to this product let's say floral tea for women uh, you can give any skew or uh, I guess you can just skip that as well but for this one I would say ABC one two three it's 250 grams um, and then in the description I would say this is a cotton t-shirt for women in a lovely floral print and you can add more the more description you add the better the product is uh, so that the users coming to your website can you know read this description and uh, read about the material used in in that product you know or, or different variations to it then I go to the options um, I would add a new option the option name for this type of product would be let's say a color and do you want it to be a radio button, a drop down list, um, size or check boxes? Uh, let's say for this one, I would add a drop down list and I would add a new option value. 
so I can add an option value of red and let's say blue and what else did I have over there blue and black um, so let's say I've added a black as well and I would add a new option here as well uh, which would be the size and I would give it a drop down list as well and the options for this one would be let's say small medium and large um, and let's see what else I can give the files is, is only for the digital goods uh, which I can't do in the free uh, plan uh, taxes and shipping uh, we can also go to this taxes and shipping uh, tab over here shipping and pickup and set up your uh, shipping for, for like that um, SEO related stuff for for your product uh, but this is an advanced feature as well not available in the free plan uh, and you can also tag related products like if there's a t-shirt here you can add you know the matching shorts or or jeans to that um, and you know embed this product on your website if you have a different source um, you can just you know get the link from here and uh, embed it to another website and it'll get redirected uh, to your website so by doing that I'll also give the main thing and uh, the price so let's say this is $44.50 and I'll click on the add new product and once I've done that I would go to the products page and see our uh, our new t-shirt have been has been added to the store if I go to the store again we should be able to see our, our new product on the website live and working and here it is if I click on that um, to see if everything has come through you can see the images are perfect you can scroll through images uh, people can zoom onto it and the pricing has come through there are two options this t-shirt is available in red blue and black um, and the sizes are small medium and large um, and once the user has selected the values they can click on add to bag go to the cart or go directly to checkout um, and then they can add or remove items from here give their checkout information and then proceed uh, to their desired payment method another important thing that I want to show you is how to edit your website and how to change the theme of your website so in dashboard uh, under the sales channels you can see website over here uh, clicking on that you can click on edit site or you can click on site appearance both of them take you to an uh, your website editor where you can see you have different blocks and you have information uh, you can visually see you know what it is so a header block represents this one um, and you basically have a cover section which I have deleted but I will add that soon um, so this is your storefront and below that is your customer testimonials uh, there's an about us page and there's a contact us page there's also a collection um, and you have two different cover pages so let's start by reordering these to reorder a block of section you have to go to settings and then reorder blocks and then you can basically drag and drop items on top of each other so below your header I think this fits perfectly well um, and this cover that we had we basically don't need it so I'll go back and delete this cover open that and delete block so now I want to basically uh, give it a name uh, in header you can you can go to the site logo you can have a text or you can have an image like a logo that you have prepared for your website I'll just use an Equid demo name and uh, in the header you can have contact information uh, for phone and email and you can give the values that you would want under that 
we have a cover page and uh, it says a tagline of apparel and accessories which fits perfectly for the store but you might want to change to something else uh, it is just a text input whatever you change uh, gets displayed uh, over there and below that is your main headline and a description about what your store is is for uh, and there are two action buttons this is the primary action which takes you to the catalog which kind of seems right and there's an Instagram one you can have that or you can have you know a go to contact us page thing uh, depending on what you want um, yeah and you can basically then if you don't like this kind of an ad block uh, you can click on this one and go to intros and covers and see there are a few different kind of uh, things available for your intro page you can have a half and half one and two action buttons uh, depending on what uh, look you are after then there's the customer testimonial things uh, you know that feels right you have an image you can change the image you have a description and a title as well and if you go back uh, you have the collection over here and you have the store over here um, to manage the catalog you would basically have to go back to the catalog section uh, and edit the products or categories um, and there are a few other settings to the website which fall under the design section uh, here you can basically size your images you know uh, of your images to look large on the screen or medium sized uh, or small size and it shows you a representation of how it will look like this is the ratio of uh, the images the aspect ratio do you want it to be in landscape mode or in portrait modes like these and darken image backgrounds uh, this is by default enabled the content to be centered or to the left like this uh, I think center works fine and uh, what information of the product do you want to show on the category page uh, like do you want to show a frame uh, like that it looks good why not product name I think that's a must product price is depends on uh, depends upon you um, SKU it's not that important for the customer um, buy now button you can either have it as show or if you have options and you want the user to view the options you can just do not show over here so that they click on that go to the product section uh, read the details carefully and then choose their options and you can have uh, the category preview as well uh, display category names on the images yes display category names below the images works fine so you can have a few options to play around and you can play around with the page layout as well do you want to have it as a two column product description is on the right hand side uh, that is uh, by default how a lot of uh, e-commerce platforms have so i think switching to uh, that would be a good option because you know uh, otherwise it may get confusing for the customer so yeah uh, you can have a play with these ones as well um, and there's a lot to edit but that's that's just one one time uh, modification to your website and you know creation of products um, and once this is all done your website is ready to go live and you know ready for the customers to uh, view them